In the dimly lit corners of ancient libraries and the hushed halls of religious institutions lie volumes of forgotten lore. These are the hidden scriptures, books once revered and now obscured, shrouded not by the passage of time but by deliberate concealment. The truths they contain challenge the very foundations upon which contemporary faiths are built. What might we learn if these texts were brought to light? This essay explores the enigmatic world of forbidden scriptures, revealing a tapestry of spiritual insights and historical anomalies that have been systematically excluded from mainstream religious texts. The term apocrypha originates from the Greek word meaning hidden or secret. Historically, these texts were often esteemed but were left out of the biblical canon due to various theological, political and cultural reasons. Understanding why certain texts were excluded reveals much about the power dynamics and theological debates of early Christian and Jewish communities. Discovered in the mid-20th century among other Gnostic texts near Nag Hammadi, Egypt, the Gospel of Thomas presents sayings of Jesus that emphasize direct and personal discovery of the divine. Its exclusion from the New Testament canon can be attributed to its stark contrast with the orthodox views of Jesus' nature and the path to salvation, which emphasize faith over personal spiritual enlightenment. The Book of Enoch is an ancient Jewish work attributed to Enoch, the great-grandfather of Noah. It details the heavenly revelations given to Enoch through angelic visions and includes narratives about the origin of evil caused by fallen angels. The mystical and fantastical nature of these revelations is one of the reasons it was not included in the wider canon, deemed too heretical in its portrayal of the celestial and demonic realms. The Gospel of Mary, attributed to Mary Magdalene, presents her as a prominent disciple and a spiritual leader, which starkly contrasts with her lesser role in the canonical Gospels. The text discusses themes of inner spiritual knowledge and the soul's journey, promoting a view of leadership and discipleship that includes women, a perspective that was likely threatening to the patriarchal structure of early Christian institutions. This apocryphal work details the later acts and martyrdom of the Apostle Peter. It is filled with miraculous events and confrontations with Simon Magus, a figure often associated with heresy in early Christianity. The text's exclusion may be due to its fantastical elements and its portrayal of doctrinal conflicts that the early church preferred to minimize. The additions to Esther and the stories within the Book of Daniel, such as those of Susanna and Belle and the Dragon, introduce elements of divine justice and moral integrity. Their exclusion from the Hebrew Bible may be attributed to their late authorship and Hellenistic influences, which did not align with earlier Jewish traditions. The wisdom of Sirach and the wisdom of Solomon are revered for their deep philosophical insights and ethical teachings. However, their exclusion from the Jewish canon can be traced back to the hesitations about their authorship and the perceived inconsistency with other scriptural texts regarding the nature of wisdom and righteousness. The Gnostic Gospels, including texts like the Gospel of Philip and the Gospel of Judas, present interpretations of Christ's teachings and his nature that diverge significantly from Orthodox Christianity. These texts often emphasize esoteric knowledge and the mystical experience of the divine, which clashed with the emerging Orthodox doctrine that stressed the historical and corporeal reality of Jesus Christ. The apocalyptic writings revealing divine mysteries Apocalyptic literature, such as the Apocalypse of Peter and the Apocalypse of Abraham, features vivid portrayals of the end times and the spiritual realm. These texts were often excluded from the canon due to their obscure and often unsettling visions of the future, as well as their potential to inspire dissent and fear within the early Christian communities.
The Psalms and Odes of Solomon, while containing beautiful poetic expressions of faith, were excluded from the canonical scriptures, likely due to their ambiguous authorship and the unconventional ideas they presented about divine justice and mercy, which might contradict the established theological views of the time. The exclusion of these texts has led to a homogenized religious narrative that may not fully reflect the rich tapestry of early theological debates and cultural exchanges. If these texts were included, they could offer a more pluralistic view of spirituality and ethics, enriching modern faith practices and broadening our understanding of ancient religious thought. Reintegrating these ancient texts into the study of religion presents both challenges, such as overcoming centuries of bias and doctrinal rigidities, and opportunities like the enrichment of theological debate and the deepening of spiritual practice. Encouraging a more inclusive approach to ancient texts can lead to greater understanding and tolerance among different faith traditions. The journey through the hidden scriptures is more than an academic exercise. It is a quest for a deeper understanding of the divine and the human condition. By exploring these forbidden texts, we challenge the established narratives and open ourselves to a broader spectrum of spiritual insight. Let this exploration be a call to all seekers of truth to dare to look beyond the boundaries of conventional scripture and discover the rich, diverse heritage of our spiritual ancestors.